Hello guys, what's up? Today I want to talk about some type of other options in Enscape. So let's start from this model. I turn on my save frame and I change my perspective to two point perspective. I'm in the fly mode so I change it to the walk mode. And I walk near the model. Like that. So if you look at these edges you can see the sharpness of them. I come to the visual setting and in the image bar, I choose the last option, chromatic abbreviation. So what is a chromatic abbreviation? I increase that and you can see some type of other colors in the edges. Actually, these options slightly decrease image sharpness. And if you decrease it and the number came to the zero, you have much sharper images. And if you increase it to the 100, you have some type of blur images. Another option can help you to make your screen blur is bloom. Actually, when you increase the bloom option, you can see the lens like some type of uh, some type of other options, and your screen get much blur. And if I increase it to the 100, it's completely blur. Maybe. This type of option is really helpful in bathroom rendering or interior renderings. I decrease it to the uh, 6 for example and chromatic aberration decrease to the uh, 0. Now we have much sharper image. Another option is a widget. If you increase the widget, uh, output and out form of the screen you can see some outlines and frames of your picture get black and it's really helpful in interior renderings when you want to focus on something and in, in this render I think we don't need it so I decrease it to the uh, 6 for example so at the main bar we have some type of moods it's on the none I change it to the white so I press F and I choose sim 1. So I want two point perspective it's on and I come to the visual setting again. About field of view. I want some type of image without an environment. I just need this model and details. So in the visual setting at the main bar I choose white mode and now I decrease the field of view about some number I think it's good for my model for example I think 40 is better and now it's on the 46 I decrease to the 40 something like that and a little I came back to this model something like this so I came back to the visual setting it's on the 14 and now we want to talk about depth of field what's the depth of field in some type of pictures I'm sure you see that if you want to focus on some type of a special object or a special model you must blur the environment of it Actually, the depth of field do this work for you. I increase it to the 20 and you can see some type of blurness in your screen. And I turn on autofocus. And now we don't see anything and it's completely blur. So we don't need it. I uncheck it and lower than it we have some type of option like focal point. What's the focal point? Carefully look at this screen. When I decrease this focal point, some type of black line move in my model. And I can see it. I want to set this black line on my model. Actually, this place is shining now. With increasing or decreasing, you can see this place is sharper than other places. And it's about 18.13. I change it to the 18.10 for example. 
and now at the outlines I increase outline to the uh, 36 something like that and change the rendering to a quality to the uh, ultra after that I come to the image bar and decrease a little highlights about I think 24 and increase the shadows about 16 and increase the saturation about 108 I want some type of warm render so I decrease my color temperature to the uh, number like 3800 and about motion blur I decrease it to the uh, 36 and about lens flare actually we don't have any sun flare in this place so I change my sun position something like that and change the hours of the day about sunshine something like this and change it change the sun position in the sky to the angle we have much flares I open visual setting and now I increase my lens flare to the uh, 96 and we can see the flares it's really artistic at the atmosphere I reduce the effect to the uh, 2% and the height of it about 24 I increase the sun brightness to the uh, 94 and shadow sharpnesses to the uh, 74 or 76 I increase artificial light artificial light helps you to control lights much better so I increase it to the uh, 112 and about wind I reduce it to the zero the sky setting is already done and now at the main I came back I want to decrease depth of field because actually these grasses are really uh, artificial and not realistic so I decrease it to the 10 for example now we have better results uh, I think everything is done and increase exposure to the uh, 54 so I press the rendering key and at the Enscape camera render I choose my type of rendering I choose PNG and rename it about white render and I press save don't forget like and comment I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Please subscribe us and goodbye.